In this video, I will show you how to make a simple cave generation system using Perlin noise in like two minutes. With that said, let's get started. So to make our cave generation system, all we need is a game object called caves in our hierarchy, which will have a script called cave generation and a tile game object as a prefab. It is just a square that I colored black and made a prefab out of it. Then in our cave generation script, let's have an int called height comma width then a float called seed and another float called modifier. This modifier will have a range of 0 to 1. And lastly, a reference to our tile game object, you know, that square prefab. Now below our start and update function, let's have a function called Perlin cave and in it, we will loop through the width and height value by writing a nested for loop like this. Inside that for loop, let's write int spawn point is equal to mathav.perlin noise and inside for x write x multiplied by modifier and then add both of them with our seed value and for y do the same as x just have a y instead of x here. Then put it all in a bracket and then round it into an integer because this gives a float value and our spawn point is an integer value so we have to round it into an integer. Now this spawn point will only give us one and zeros as a value so here write if the spawn point is equal to one then we will instantiate our tile game object in a position of new vector 2 with x comma y as the axis value and with no rotation meaning quaternion dot identity and we are now done so in the start function let's have a random seed value then call this function here hit save go back to unity now let's give it some width and height value. For the modifier, put a value of 0.2, then drag and drop the tile game object here, and now let's hit play. So now you have a simple cave generation system in like two minutes. Now try tweaking the seed value, the modifier, and the height and width value to get different kinds of result. Now, for the people who are following the cave generation system series, the function will look something like this and you can call it in our generation function after you call the terrain generation function. It should look something like this. Now in the next video, we will start making cave generation with cellular automata, so stay tuned. Now, what do you think? Do you like this kind of a video? Was it clear enough? Would you like more like two minute Tuesday kind of a video? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have a wonderful day and bye bye.